hello everyone welcome back to the next video of google apps script tutorial course and in this video we are going to discuss about a debug function so debug is a very helpful option on script editor so if you run into any issue using the debug function you can debug the particular function and even you can drill down and find exactly which line is causing the issue and what is the value which got assigned to the particular variable doing each iteration or during the execution of that particular function that is the main use of a debug function so let's begin if i just click on the debug it got debug because uh, there is a no error every line of code in this debug tutorial function executed successfully so let's say let's assume that uh, this line of code gives me an error when i'm doing an execution so if you want to debug just click on that particular line and you can see the red dot which appear before the row number so this is the symbol of debugging if you want to debug multiple lines you can just place a dot here and if you don't want to debug that particular line just click it again so that will go away so if you mm, want to debug just click on it and go to a debug function so you can see the debug window which opened and it gets stopped during the first iteration after the first iteration zero so here you can see this value and argument so this is similar to how you are doing a debugging on javascript so here you can see that this is a variable and the data type is a number during the first iteration the value of the variable i is zero that is why it's showing here so if you just execute it again you can see that it get incremented now it's two and if executed again it get increment to three and increment to four so you will find in which particular iteration you are getting the error and what was the value assigned to that particular iteration so that's the main use of debugging and there are a couple of other options that i want to tell you so first one is a step in and step over and step out so if you go step in it will take you to each and every line of the code which is present on the google app script editor so if you if i use this step in so you can see that it takes me to the logger.log .log and it takes me to the curry braces so it will take me to each and every line of code but if you use a step over it it won't take you much deeper so let me explain so if you see that it takes to the logger but again it's take to follow so to explain the basic difference between step in and step over let me add another function let's call this as a print let me get the variable so instead of uh, printing the logger on inside the for loop I have just created another function the name of the function is print so I am using the print and passing the argument here now you can find the difference between step in and step over so now let me execute this one so I will stop and start doing the debug so if I use a step in you can see that it takes me to the print i and if I click on step in again it takes me to the print type function as well it takes me to the each and every line of print function but if we go and use a step over you can see that it takes me to this curly braces and if I can click on the step over it takes me to the print statement but if I can click on the step over it it doesn't take me to this function so that is a basic difference between step over and step in step in basically takes you to each and every line of the code and step over will move over the step at a very high level and this step out is it will complete the iteration and again come to this point so this this is the only place where it gets stopped when you use a step out so now it's two and if i execute that one 
it got incremented to 3. So this is the 1D place which gets stopped when you use step out. So this is how you can effectively debug and find the root cause of the error that you're getting on the Google Apps Script. So let me know if you have any doubt. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.